Congratulations, Sebastian, and welcome back to the podium. What a race. Yeah, it was uh, quite intense, quite long, uh, but good fun. I had a really good opening lap, and I think I've found myself ready in P4. Um, was quite happy on the extremes. Then we switched to inters. It was a bit more difficult in the beginning, and only towards the end I started to find the pace again. Uh, obviously, it was very intense in the last lap, so... Uh, yeah, a bit of a surprise to get to snatch the podium in the end, but uh, certainly very happy. I think it was a, a really enjoyable race in very tricky conditions. Yeah, you were quick all the way through, but just take us through those last few corners where you were able to snatch the podium. Well, I saw that uh, Charles was quite close to Sergio, and I heard that Sergio is just stru struggling with his tyres. So uh, the laps before, I was already chasing them down, and then, uh, yeah, I could see them fight. And as soon as I saw Charles locking up, obviously I saw that uh, there's an opportunity for me. It was very old close as well with Sergio. He was, uh, I think uh, he had nothing left on his tyres. Were there any thoughts on the way through in the closing stages? I'm going in for dry tyres, give it a gamble. Yes, all the time. I was uh, uh, 20 laps to go, I was thinking about dries because the circuit was constant, the tyres anyways were worn. So and ultimately we had slicks. I think it's just a matter of nobody dared to, to put them on. And there was some rain forecasted in the end, which didn't come. So I would have really liked to put them on um, because I think that would have been a chance to win. But uh, yeah, equally happy with, uh, with third. Congratulations again, a day for wise heads and talking about a wise head and a lot of experience. It was close in the final yes. lap. <laughs> you, were, you were fourth. You overtook Charles. Yes. Yeah. Sergio Perez, what a brilliant drive all the way through. You had it. You were right at the sharp end of the race, right up front, and you held on to those tyres since lap 10. <laughs> that was key, really. I mean, uh, I've told my team on the radio, I think one more lap on those tyres, and I don't think, uh, I think they would have exploded. Uh, they, the vibrations were extremely bad towards the end. But I think it also made our race, you know, because uh, looking after them in the beginning, towards the end, when with drying conditions. Um, I think the team they, they did a fantastic job in, in terms of uh, strategy, reading the race, and, and um, yeah, I think Lewis today was extremely strong, and towards the end we died, but uh, we managed to get a good result. Uh, did you have any big moments, any shocks and uh, scares through the race? Uh, a little one, one with, with Max, I couldn't see anything on my mirrors. My mirrors were full of fog, so my engineer was basically telling me the gaps and so on. And then all of a sudden, um, I saw Max like running wide and he disappeared. And, um, and yeah, the, the other one was with Charles. You know, I, I, I wasn't aware that he was so close to me. So in the final, in the final lap was pretty good battle with, with him. Uh, he overtook me into turn nine and then I overtook him back into 11, so yeah, it was a chaotic race, uh, but a strong result for us. I mean, it's a fantastic leaving present for the team. Uh, the, a few more races to go, of course, but you, you know, this is such an advert for you, for your skills, for your speed, for the future. You don't have a seat on the grid next year yet. Yeah, well, I, I, I think as always, you know, you, you have to be delivering weekend after weekend. You are as good as your last race, so it's important to finish on a high, and, and, and the rest is not on my hands. Well, congratulations. Thank Wonderful you, drive. Just one more interview to go, and one I'm very much looking forward to as Lewis <laughs> exchanges words and hugs with Mark Hines, a man who's been pivotal to the support of Lewis's career over many, many years. And Lewis savouring the moment with his team, of course, and, and why not? James Bowles there does the strategy. And Lewis, the mark of, of a truly great sporting champion is to win on the days when maybe you're not the fastest or the strongest or don't have the best equipment. You've come through the pack today to become a seven times world champion with a true champion's drive. Thank you. Uh, I uh, definitely a, a bit lost for words. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, naturally I, I have to always start with saying such a huge thank you to, to all the guys that are here um, and all the guys back at the factory, at both our factories and all our partners for enabling us and giving us this opportunity. You know, I wouldn't be able to do this if I didn't join his team. 
and the journey we've been on has been monumental and uh, I'm so proud of him. I want to also say a big, big thank you to uh, Team LH for sticking with me all these years. And, uh, and then to my family, you know. Uh, we dreamed of this as, as, as you know, when we were young and when I was young, when we were watching the Grand Prix and this is way, way beyond our dreams. And I think it's so important for kids out there to hopefully see this and know that no one to tell, uh, don't listen to anybody that tells you you can't achieve something extremely impossible and speak it into existence. And you've got to work for it. You've got to chase it and you've got to never give up and never doubt yourself. You equaled the great Michael Schumacher with seven world titles. That was a drive, Michael Schumacher or any other of the truly great Formula One drivers in our 70-year history would be proud of. Uh, thank you. I mean, I, today we knew coming here it was already such a difficult weekend. We weren't really massively disappointed with our qualifying position. We, we knew that uh, we were kind of on the back foot and we did the best we could. But then... Uh, we learn a lot, you know, this is what we do as a team, you know, like there's no blame game. We, we hash it out, we do hash it out and we, we really have to, you know, we continue to try and improve our, our communication so that we can make moves forwards and we don't always get everything perfect. But today, I mean, we had that s small moment at the beginning of the race with uh, the new tyres that, and then uh, I couldn't get past Seb for a while and at that point I could see um, Albon pulling away and I was thinking Jesus this race is pulling is falling away from me falling through my fingers but I just kept just kept my head down just kept believing that I'd eventually pick up pace of some sort at some stage and and that's what I did a few laps in you were over a pit stop behind the leaders you were kind of nowhere at which point did you think I might win this uh, well there was a point obviously that uh, Seb was pulling away from me and I couldn't figure out at the time what it was, so I was checking my temperatures. I didn't know whether it was because my tires were overheating or they were too cold. But um, they got to a, a bit of a drier patch. I think I went through the real rough phase of the graining of the tire, and then, then it started to come back. The grip started to come back. The track was drying in areas, and, and I was improving my driving lines the whole way through the race. So then I started to pick up pace. And then Seb pitted, and for me, I knew that that wasn't the right choice personally. So I, I just decided to stay out. And as the tires got more and more slick, that's exactly what you needed. But fortunately, because that intermediate tire, it holds temperature. If I went out on new slicks, I wouldn't have made it round, but uh, it was the best decision. <laughs> yeah, your tires are slick. They are naked. They are bald sitting there, but yeah. you overruled the team in the end. You didn't fancy splashing down a wet pit lane you thought you could get it i don't know how you did well, you thought you could get it to the end well you remember i lost the world championship in the pit lane yeah <laughs> so i learned my lesson from 2007 that's for sure and uh i i felt like i really had it under control and the grip was feeling good and i was going to deal with the rain if it dropped but um <clears throat> oh, wow. well congratulations thank you tens of millions of people around the world loved that race and you, all of you, put on a great show for us. Thank you. Next up, of course, Bahrain, where we're heading to. Well done, Lewis.